A good tile layout will make setting your tile easier and keep your grout joints uniform and straight. The simplest layout is two perpendicular lines intersecting in the center of the room. This works fine for a simple rectangular room, but more thought needs to go into most jobs. I'll show you some of the things to consider when laying out for your tile. All you'll need is a tape measure, a chalk line, and your floor tile. Using the longest straight wall, mark the room's center and snap a line. Now I'll show you how to use the 3-4-5 squaring method for making the second perpendicular line. Start at the center and strike an arc at 4 feet. Then make a mark 3 feet from the center along the chalk line. Strike a second arc from that 3 foot mark to cross your first arc. Get a volunteer to help you snap a line across the X and the center line and you'll have a perfectly square line every time. Now it's time to figure out if these lines will actually work for laying your tile. You want to avoid narrow tiles against walls or tubs or having to make difficult cuts around things such as heat vents or cabinet bases. I'll usually do this with a tape measure, but often it's easiest just to dry lay the tiles with spacers along the layout lines to see how they end up. Here's what to look out for. If you wind up with narrow tiles like this one against a wall or a tub, you'll want to shift the layout line half a tile to make the wall cut larger. If you end up with difficult or impossible cuts like this one around a heat register, you should also shift the lines to make your life easier. If you're lucky, the original lines will work just fine. If you've decided to shift them, set new chalk lines in a different color so you don't confuse them. In a small difficult room, you might spend as much time planning your layout as you do actually installing the tile. But believe me, it's worth the time. Once you're comfortable with the original or adjusted layout, add some more lines. I generally snap a line in both directions for every second or third tile row. Then when I'm setting, I adjust the tiles to these lines to keep all of the grout joints uniform and straight. If you did your layout homework, setting the tile will be the easy part. You'll have a great looking tile job with perfectly straight grout lines and tile sizes around the perimeter that look right for the room.